Hello and welcome PML fans. I am your host Joe Zamora here and I am here with the coach of the Memphis Maniacs, Brandon Borgmeier, I think. Yeah, Borgmeier. Oh, almost. Borgmeier. Okay. I didn't want to sound weird. <laughs> oh, it's <that's> all good. <laughs> but how you doing, Brandon? Oh, I'm good. I'm uh, actually just playing some BGC right now. Oh, nice. Is that your go-to format? Yeah, usually. Yeah. I kind of got hooked on it um, with the uh, with the local tournaments, um, you know, before, I guess, before Corona. No, I got you. Meeting new people. It's always fun. Right. right. I did that with um, BGC for a little bit, and then I did uh, Pokemon Go. Before that, I, um, you know, did it pretty big locally. Mm -hmm. Just um, different, the PvP battles and stuff. Okay, yeah, I've never done that. On the Pokemon okay. Go, I, I was way before that, and I never got into it later. I don't blame you. It's a it's a whole craze in itself. <laughs> like, uh, do you remember when uh, uh, people were apparently they were running out in the streets of New York? Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, like getting crazy, you know. Well, that leads me to ask you, um, what's your draft history? Uh, my draft history really is only a year. Um, from Sword and Shield, um, I started. I started uh, with the Twitter League. I guess they won. They started, uh, you know, a uh, TPL. Oh, okay. And um, so, you know, how many seasons that's ran or whatever. But for the most part, this is a uh, this is my first, you know, first season. You know, fully being in draft leagues. Okay, well, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I've been digging it. Oh, what made you choose your logo? Um, I like um, uh, I, I like how how it's just like a um, a burnt orange because like um, that is that's the colors of a uh, um, the University of Tennessee, and that's where a lot of a lot of, my sister went to college there, and it's that you know real deep and kind of kind of bright orangish, but uh, um, I, I like the. Uh, the, the two the two letters being the same you know like almost like a rhyme you know yeah. but it's what was that called again uh, not a kind of thing yes 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 yeah I feel that but I also like the burnt orange because actually UT also has that color yeah oh uh oh Texas the, the Longhorns yes sir and I, I hear you and cool. I'm definitely a fan of that team so that's cool. I, I knew you were from down there. That's cool. All right, man. Would you ever change your logo? Oh, probably. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> I kind of kind of just came up with it, and you know, I guess it was like the second or third time I played in a TPL. They were like, you know, it's time to make a logo, so I just I kind of threw one together, but I like it. <laughs> All right. Well, if you ever need some. Help creating one. I got you, man. I make all these crazy logos. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, I uh, I think I did see you post um, a couple of your, um, you know, your pieces you've done. And I was pretty impressed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what draft pick are you, actually? I always forget since there's 16 people now. I thought that, I thought that it was in the middle of the pack. I can't remember to be Zach. Um. Because the uh, first question I want to ask you for about draft mm -hmm. specifically is, um, who do you think you're going to be taking number one overall? If I'm in the middle of the pack, like I think I am. Um, hmm, I think you would fall because um, you know you, at that point you kind of want to find the the top five pick that falls to the you know the top ten. Yeah, um, you're number seven. A seven? I thought so. Okay. Um, yeah. I haven't put too much thought into it because I've been just game building, like, in general and not necessarily focusing on the the first one. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I guess I could uh, probably go with uh, some of my favorites. Like, like I I'd love to run a Sun team. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Grabbing, uh, grabbing maybe Groudon or... Um, or Venusaur. Okay, well, our tiers are a little different, so we actually don't have uh, legendaries or myth mythicals in this draft. 
Okay. Okay. So you're you no no legends. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, from the tears. Yeah. You were yeah, like, yeah. You've been in a couple PML drafts. Yeah. Yeah. So so it'll just be uh, non legendary tears. Okay. And we actually have Venusaur in tier two. Oh, nice, nice. That's cool. That's something to remember. Yeah, I don't think there's any Sunsetters in tier one either. Okay. There's okay. there's a Sand Setter in Tyranitar. Yeah, I love that sand the sand team with him and the. Uh, well, you could put Drill or uh, or Garchomp out there now. Mm-hmm. You know. Wild sets you could run with that team. Yeah, you really could. That's a that's a good option for sure. All right, man. Well, how do you feel PML will be different from the other draft you've been in? Um, it's definitely a lot more um, well active, but just more. Uh, it's, it seems a little more professional and more well put together. I've been pretty impressed with it by all the stuff you put out and everything. So, I uh, I think it'll you know it'll remain main to a certain standard. You know. All right, I can see that. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Um, how do you feel about the tiers? Uh, you've drafted a couple times. How do you feel mm. you, the teams end up being like? They're 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 what you you didn't expect. Like you know you you can't figure out like you're asking me like you know what 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 do I go with? And I'm trying to think of the tiers. I mean, you don't. I don't think you can guess because I mean anything is possible at that point. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the tiers are certainly different from other drafts. Yeah. And I just think kind of keeping, you know, the people or the, the players on a guideline and more on the uh, equal playing field is, uh, is is really what makes it competitive, you know? Yeah, drafting in the tier order. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people said um, it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. So a, a lot of people have liked that part. Yeah, yeah, it does make it a lot easier to, you know, over over a day or two, you know, draft a full team. Yeah, it does. Well, looking at this draft, what's your favorite battle strategy? I still think weather is um, weather is the setter, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm a big fan of the of the the rain teams, the uh, sun teams. Um, I just think it's, it's such a big difference that. A lot of people don't uh, don't look at it, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so yeah. Sometimes if you get the weather up, the other team ain't expecting it. It could it could put some holes in that team. Right. For is, sure. Is there a specific mon you want to get to help you with that weather team? I think like I don't what what tier is um Politoed in? Uh, tier two, I believe. Tier two or three. Yeah. Okay. He might be worth the, 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 the second or third, you know, round reach. Yeah. But, uh, Definitely a yeah. reliable uh, uh, rain setter. Right. I think. This Torkoal's great, you know, but you could also throw in, um, you know, Canto Ninetales with Drought, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think in a singles format, I think uh, Nine Tails with the speed tier it has is probably better than Torkoal. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that for sure. But definitely Torkoal could take hits. So I mean, either yeah, one has their benefits. Yeah, I agree. Alrighty, man. Well, is there someone you are excited to battle against in this upcoming draft? Well, since I'm kind of still fairly new and just kind of learning everybody. Um, other other than fighting you as you know the, the command type, you know I'm just kind of learning learning how everybody works, you know. Yeah, I got you. So yeah, I mean, excited about battling you. I've yet to beat you yet, so I, I gotta give you some type of <laughs> some type of taste of medicine there. I certainly thought you were gonna get me in the SQL. Yeah, that was a that was a really good squad you had, man. Uh, well, that's when you pulled the Rick Plaza out, wasn't it? Yeah. The solar beam work. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. I, I honestly, I calced it and I was like, that Oko is a ground on, and nothing else on my team does. So I was like, I might as well, I might as well do that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good selection. Alrighty, man. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Anything else you want to say to the fans before you go? 
No, I just appreciate uh, you having me, man. Oh, yeah, man. Anytime. Well, thank you right, guys for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.